Hey, my Amuna family. I hope you guys are having a fantastic start to the week. Happy Monday to you. Listen, I wanted to share with you guys that uh, I fell last Friday uh, into anger. Not physically, <laughs> but emotionally, spiritually, I fell in, into anger. And um, I was feeling pretty rough about it. Like I realized what I had done. And uh, I was asking Hashem to really help me not to do that again. And then I was tested again yesterday. And then yesterday I fell into anger. Um, and uh, Friday's was with work. And um, yesterday's was at home. And so last night, I just, after I kind of came to my senses, I really was, I was just really down on myself. And uh, in my time of prayer this morning, I was just, chatting with Hashem and telling him how sorry I was uh, for what I had done. And the problem with anger is that it it's like you're, you're telling God that you're not happy with the way that he's doing things. You're not happy with how your life is and you think that you know better than what the Creator knows. And it just really shows a lack of faith and I felt completely separated from him. Uh, in those moments of, of being angry, I feel like, you know, that there's just like, you're turning your back on him in many ways. So when it comes time for me to pray, it's difficult. Like it's hard for me to get engaged because I'm feeling like this just weight in my gut uh, of what I had experienced. And so even, you know, despite saying I'm sorry and despite asking for forgiveness and there's like, and saying, you know, I'm going to do better. I'm going to recognize, and which is fantastic because I, I am seeing in my life that I am recognizing it faster and faster. So hopefully, God willing, the next time I'm tested, I'll see the test. I'll put it right between my eyes. I'll put it out there and I'll say, no, this is from Hashem. I'm, I'm going to put my Amuna right there and I'm going to know for sure that this is coming from Hashem and I have a test that I need to pass. So I'm seeing it faster and faster, but uh, you know, thank God I'm not staying with with anger for um, hours or days or months, <laughs> years. God forbid. Um, you know, I'm becoming better and and trying to stay away from bitter. But at the same time, the those episodes, you know, you have them, and and th things are not feeling great <laughs> in your body or in your spirit. And uh, what do you do to fix it? So this morning I'm praying, and uh, each day in um, the daily prayers, each day has its own psalm. Uh, when you're praying through the, the prayers, the morning prayers, each day has its own psalm. And the psalms, amazingly enough, are like tapping into the hit bodidut of King David. You're tapping into his personal prayers and the personal prayers of the others that are um, that are writing the Psalms. It's really quite something and very special to to say the Psalms. It's a it's it's a gigantic really and So I noticed as I was praying today's Psalm and I'm gonna I'm gonna read that to you here in just a moment But I noticed as I was praying today's Psalm That I was like I had this charge of energy like okay. I'm I'm, I'm re -enlivening. I'm reconnecting and that seems to be our real goal in life is to connect to the Creator, to not forget <laughs> the Creator and to spend our time attempting to make that connection with Him. So I want to um, I want to read you this psalm. And this is the psalm for Monday. It's Psalm 48. Um, and it's a song, a psalm by the sons of Korah. Great is Hashem and much praised. In the city of our God, Mount of His Holiness, fairest of skies, joy of all the earth is Mount Zion. By the northern sides of the great king's city, in her palaces, God is known as the stronghold. For behold, the kings assembled. They came together. They saw and they were astounded. They were confounded and hastily fled. Trembling gripped them there, convulsions like a woman in birth travail. With an east wind, you smashed the ships of Tarshish. As we heard, so we saw in the city of Hashem, master of legions, in the city of our God. May God establish it to our eternity. Selah. We hoped, O God, for your kindness in the midst of your sanctuary. Like your name, O God, so is your praise. To the ends of the earth, righteousness fills your right hand. 
May Mount Zion be glad. May the daughters of Judah rejoice because of your judgments. Walk about Zion and encircle her. Count her towers. Mark well in your hearts her ramparts. Raise up her palaces that you may recount it to, to the succeeding generation that this is God, our God, forever and ever. He will guide us like children. Thank God that he's given us the Psalms. Thank God he's given us um, personal prayer. Thank God that he's given us the ability to understand whenever we um, mess up and we hurt other people. And thank God for uh, for the spiritual and the physical like hurt that you that you feel when you do that to somebody else, and um, and thank God for the opportunity of having uh, people that you work with and family, because you without those people without somebody being close like if you're on a lone island you probably would never realize how much you can actually hurt someone else. You also don't realize how much you can love someone else. You know, like I think a person who, um, you know, who doesn't have a, a child doesn't get to have that opportunity of, um, of giving of themselves in that fashion. So they have to find ways to give themselves where a parent is pretty much forced into that. <laughs> you have to give of yourself. You have no choice. And the same thing with a husband and wife. Like that puts you in a situation where you have to submit your desires to the desires of another person. And um, thank God that we are given the opportunity um, for those of us that have kids and those of us that are married that we've had that opportunity. And for those of us that are not, thank God for your friends that are in your life. Thanks for those that are closest to you so that you can see in them the reflection of what's happening and it gives you an opportunity to make a correction. Um, may you guys have a fantastic day. Pick up a psalm. Find it online. Um, you can find it in Hebrew under the title Tehillim, T-E-H-I-L-L-I-M. Um, and there's tons of free resources online where you can pray that in the Hebrew. You can pray it in the English. And you can connect with the personal prayers of King David. Make it happen. You'll see some major, major things. Be well.